Hi there and welcome to today's vlog. Well, since the last vlog, a couple of changes. Uh, haircut, uh, my wife Sue cuts my hair, asked her for a short one and she's uh, obliged. And uh, perhaps a little bit more importantly, new glasses. Um, went to Spectre Savers and uh, picked up my new glasses today. Uh, they seem to be a bit reflective, don't they? But uh, there we go. So I can see what I'm doing a bit better now. Uh, anyway, let me begin uh, this vlog with a, a funny story. I've just read a book uh, called Just for Remembrance. It's the kind of uh, memoirs of a gentleman called Robert Rakes Needham, who became a uh, minister in the Church of England, a, a vicar, a priest. Uh, and it's quite an interesting story. Uh, he was born in... Uh, 1858 um, retired 1921 no so long dead but an interesting story and I just want to share this humorous little part of it apparently he was quite a uh, a, a short man and he's talking about looking back some of his embarrassing moments he said my by far my most trying uh, moment I will not say where was when on entering the pulpit I found the congregation and myself invisible to each other. In other words, he couldn't see over the pulpit and the, the congregation couldn't see him. But he goes on, but worse followed. Chagrin turns, turned into horrible embarrassment as I realised that I was gradually becoming more visible. The congregation likewise. The pulpit's ordinary occupant was a giant I was not. I was being wound up by a crank to the requisite height. So uh, there he was, couldn't see over the pulpit, but somebody was winding a crank that lifted the, him up uh, so the congregation could see him. So I presume all's well that ended well. I want to talk today very briefly about regrets. And the reason I do that is that uh, last Sunday, when we were in uh, Hanekli with our daughter Kaz, we went to her church, Antioch, in uh, Hanekli, and the message uh, was on the subject of regret. And I've got to say, I probably, I can't remember ever hearing someone in the church service talk about that particular theme, that particular subject. And uh, the preacher use the example of Peter. We'll come back to that in a moment. But he was saying that uh, you hear, and I agree with this, a lot of people uh, seem to look back on the life and say, oh, I've got no time for regrets. I don't uh, believe in regrets. I just live my life. And I was rem uh, reminded of that uh, song, um, uh, uh, which says, uh, No. Je ne regret rien, which means, no, I do not regret anything. And if you've got regrets, I think if most of us were honest, we have things in our lives that we've regretted, that we regret, we look back on and we regret. But I think the important thing is that we recognise them, we acknowledge them. But we don't let them crush us as perhaps missed opportunities or things we've really messed up with. But we actually learn from them and use them as we learn from them to mould our behaviour, our life for the future. As I said, the preacher on that Sunday used the example of Peter who when Jesus uh, prophesied that uh, he would be betrayed and denied and every, all the disciples would leave him, abandon him. Peter says, look, Lord, if all these lot abandon you, I would never will. I will lay down my life for you. Jesus said, Peter, you're going to betray me three times, deny me three times. And Peter says, Lord, I'm not going to deny you. No, that's not going to happen. But of course it did. And Peter wept bitterly and no doubt he regretted that he denied his Lord three times. But Jesus didn't 
abandoned him. Jesus, when Jesus rose from the dead, he called Peter to himself and recommissioned him. And Peter became leader of the early church. So there's lots more that could be said um, on uh, the whole theme of regret. In fact, the preacher, he did play a, a clip from uh, a podcast featuring one of the dragons and the dragon's den, Pete, uh, Stephen Bartlett. He was interviewing someone who was talking about regrets uh, very wisely, actually. So, so let's acknowledge those things we regret, but don't let them drag us down. Let's use them to learn from them and with God's help to amend how we look to the future and live our lives. So God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today.